follow up on my dad. He is doing great. Um, after, after he got straightened out about not actually needing a feeding tube put in and got all that cleared up, he came home, started eating normal foods. He's been fine. He's been getting better. Uh, yes, he has still got cancer and he still, uh, you know, has heart problems, but he's eating healthily. He is able to get up and walk around on his own. Half the time he doesn't even need his walker. Um, so, so everything is getting a lot better uh, as far as he goes. Um, yay. One, one kind of strange thing, he, <laughs> he's not able to do the chemotherapy stuff or the radiation for the cancer. So he started doing alternative medicines and this uh, Chinese doctor uh, has got him on some Chinese herbs and is giving him acupuncture. <laughs> I went with him to one of his treatments yesterday. Um, I am the ultimate skeptic. I, uh, I'm, I'm skeptical even about scientific things that are, you know, supposed to be true, factual, medical definitives, I guess you'd call them. So anything like uh, these alternative medicines, I do realize that they probably have some effect, whether it is all psychological or if there is a physical uh, part to it, I'm not sure, but whatever. I mean, I figure if it helps you, it helps you. Uh, he's kind of out of alternatives uh, as far as his cancer treatment. So anything that, that makes him feel better, whether it's all psychological and placebo effect or whether it really helps him, as long as it doesn't hurt him, uh, you know, I think that's good. So anyway, uh, my wife's dad, not doing so good. He's been back in the hospital. He was in the hospital all of last week. He, he finally got home. Um, he had uh, blood, blood clots forming in his legs. He's had that before and it came back again. Uh, he has cancer of the colon, as many of you already know, and he's not in great shape. Uh, he is doing a little bit better. Like I said, he's back home now, but he spent an entire week in the hospital. Um, so anywho, um, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of tie up those loose ends, talk about that. And uh, uh, haven't really had a chance to use my Schubert's helmet too much. Uh, in fact, this is only like the second or third time I've had it on my head and actually been on the bike. So... I can't really give a review of it yet. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, yeah, nice helmet. It fits well. I got a little bit of a hot spot on my left earlobe. And I, I, if, when I put on the helmet, I have to kind of press that area in and straighten out my earlobe a bit or it starts to hurt me after a little while. And I can still feel a little pressure on it right now, but it's not bad. I'm hoping that breaks in and uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, otherwise, the helmet's feeling good. As soon as I uh, have actually used it for a while, probably another six months to a year, I will do a good full review on it and let you guys know what I think. It's a very expensive helmet, but uh, a lot of times you get what you pay for. You certainly, you certainly don't get anything for free. So anyway, yeah, okay. So as is my custom, uh, th this is probably going to be two or three, four different topics, and I'll probably break them up instead of boring you with one long one.